Hey there viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to take a look at how on God's green flat earth do we get this valve cover off of our engine without destroying it. So if you ever tried to take one of these off before, you know that is no easy feat when you need to adjust the valves or uh, do any of that type of stuff. So it does say to adjust the valves in the service manual. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's like every 100 hours or something. So you're going to be going in that after probably five years of regular normal people lawn mowing. So let's get started. All right, your first step, obviously I've taken the fan shroud off. Um, just kind of my preferred way to do that on these engines. Uh, removal of the spark plug is optional. If you want to do that, great. Uh, we're going to zip these four valve cover bolts out. No big deal. Okay. Uh, the next thing that I do, and wow. Uh, okay. Uh, that rarely, if ever, happens. I'm going to grab a different motor and um, see if we can't fight this a little more. What we're going to do, this has got the blue stuff, is let me get the camera adjusted. Uh, I bend this ear just a little bit so that I can see the back of the screw hole. And I take a scraper I don't care about and I slide it. You've got to be super careful doing this so you don't damage the valves or cut the belt or anything like that. You've got to be pretty careful. So just to give you an idea how much scraper, you know, where the hole is at and stuff like that. Just stick to the outer edge. Just basically kind of pound that guy in. Don't go all hog wild because if you hit the camshaft, uh, you can definitely damage it. It should be bad. I'm going to prop this guy up a little bit because you can tell this kid didn't drain the oil out. So it is going to puke oil if you have not already drained your oil. At that point, you can just use your little claws, pop that sucker off. So uh, all you gotta do is a little bit of body and fender and you're good to go. Um, on this guy, I use a, a razor blade. You probably should use a plastic one, but I've used metal razor blades on these for years, over and over and over and over the same engine. And I've never had a problem uh, with leakage. Uh, just don't scrape all your garbage into the engine because it's going to be really tough to get it out. Uh, this guy here, I'll scrape and clean it and then I'll just take a wire wheel uh, on a power drill and I'll buff that up. I'll do the same here. Uh, you would probably get some crap in the engine. It doesn't really pertain to us because um, we're rebuilding these things anyway. So, All right, folks, well, there you got it. That is how you remove the valve cover from your Honda engine. So sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's really difficult. I don't tend to bend up a lot of these if I do them that way. Uh, I took this one step further. So if it's an engine that I work on, I actually install a valve cover gasket on it. Uh, you can't buy that part from Honda. We designed it in AutoCAD and I took it over to our room next door and I cut it out on our uh, laser engraver machine. So I keep about 100 of those in stock at any given time. Um, probably a good product idea to sell or something like that. but. Whatever, makes my life a little easier uh, when I assemble these engines and I don't have to open a fresh tube of silicone. So that is that. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.